Good afternoon from South Cambridge here in the United Kingdom on what is week 1.5 of Starlink ownership. Today we're going to talk about speeds and stability. I'm also going to cover some obstruction information within that. Secondly, I'm going to cover an interesting news article I came across which talks about some UK grind stations and I imagine this might spread further afield. And then finally, I think I figured out where Big E gets his inspiration from and it may well be the sheep. So first of all, talking about speed, speed is good. So we no longer have that kind of bottlenecking as you can see from this speed test here. Originally it would shoot up to maybe 90 meg and then it would slow down for a second then fly up really fast but now it just seems to go straight up. Uh, and the, the ping is sitting around 25, which is, is really good. Uh, it's, it, it works really well. And you know, I have noticeable difference. So whatever the last firmware update was, it's having an impact. Uh, here's the number of it anyway. I shared this with you in the last video. So stability in terms of upload, download, yes, it's strong. In terms of online gaming, there's still issues. There's no no two ways about it. And I, 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 get, I get really frustrated. I'm a, I'm a mobile gamer and I know that if you're a proper gamer, you're watching this going, I'm not a proper gamer. I get that. I used to be. I'm, I'm nearly 42. I can't just keep playing games or can I? Anyway, mobile gaming is my thing and it requires very specific in the moment little screen tabs. And whenever you get those wrong or you get freeze or it lags, it's horrible because you're, you, you lose. Uh, and here's a good example of when this happens. It's whenever you get the little connection error flash up in the middle of the screen. It's 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 this it's a symbol of death basically. It means that you you're pretty much lost, and that's happened a lot. So in terms of that kind of stability, it's not great. I had a couple of calls yesterday. That was fine. There was no dropouts. Really clean. A couple of voice calls though did drop out, um, but that's the way it is. It's I know it's a better. It's going to get better. I get it. That's fine. Just sharing the experience so far. Next up, we're going to come to these graphs. And this is the information that you get within the Starlink app or if you've got a static route and you navigate to it. But I'm not quite sure how they add up the last 12 hours, for example, because if you look at the time scales where it's been no satellites, well, that adds up to much more than seven minutes. So I'm not quite sure when they pulled in that data. And the other thing I did notice is obstructions. Now, obstructions do come up a lot. And we talked about this the other day when I thought it was the pigeons or, or something was happening on my dish. And then I even thought it was the geese because the geese are so well organized. I thought they were doing something. And then we kind of blame birds in general, thinking maybe they're just perching on it. But I had obstructions pop up the other morning as well in some downtime. And there was nothing on the dish. I was looking up at it and there's nothing on the dish. And I... Now this isn't unique to me. I've noticed on the forums or on the Facebook page, this is happening a lot where people are having obstructions showing and there's nothing obstructing their dish. It's got clear line of sight. And I just wonder, is this part of the the, the software that's going on? Is it part of something that these ironed out? So if you have a bit of OCD and you've just got your dish and you're thinking, oh, it's clear, I can see clear sky. There's, there's probably a bit more to it than you realize. So don't panic. I'm fairly certain this will be ironed out. So next up, I'm going to move on to that news article I came across. And it seems that Arkiva, it's a company that I never heard of and I guess that's because they deal in satellites and fiber and all sorts of other things. But when you read into the text of this report, it seems to hint towards linking Starlink satellite system with ground based fiber to premises. Now, I just wonder, maybe I've misinterpreted this article, but I just wonder, is this a possible solution for people who live in cities or they can't have massive clusters of satellites? Uh, somebody's hinted towards the, the, the satellites not being able to work. I think it was actually Elon Musk said they won't work in cities where you have too many of them together. And this could be the way around it. In rural areas, remote areas, you will have the satellites. But in the cities, you have a still under Starlink, but a fiber to premises. 
Now that would be really interesting and what a way to really shake up and try and challenge the market. So that's just a little bit of interesting news that I found on the web and I thought it was worth sharing. And finally, what I think is influencing Starlink satellite deployments. Now you'll know that the sheep do the sprints and we love the sprints because they, they're fast and they're lambs and lambs running, well, it works. It's pretty cute. Something happened the last couple of days. They've been having this meetings where they, they all get together and they sit and they plan stuff and then they disperse and then they spread out. I just wonder, are starting watching this and they're using this as their base plan for satellite deployment. Could there be much more to the lambs than we think? And one last thing before I go, you know that I've been using my Starlink stuff for something else, other purposes. And I want to know, what have you been using yours for? So I'll give you an example, Des, which is the router, uh, is, I, I, wanted, I wanted to have a purpose. It has got a purpose now. He's basically a little companion uh, and I like him. I think he's serves a purpose and he's, he's a good company. I've also used the instructions, the massive A3, a2, A1 page of instructions as a diffuser. So it actually makes a difference. So I'm using this stuff from my Starlink box for other useful purposes. Now my question to you is, what are you using yours for? Have you got anything within your box that you're using for someone else? So that is the update from week 1.5. I wanna thank you from across the world, messages from Alaska, Philippines, hard to reach areas in America, in the north of Canada. So whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one, and I will catch you later.